Finally, I wanted to talk a little bit about the technological tools that we'll use in Chem 332, particularly for those of you who may be a little bit anxious about using new technology with the course. The reason we use technology in the course is not to replace or supplant learning, but to enhance it, as I'll talk about in more detail later. The program you'll make most use of is called Ace Organic. It's a software program built around a Java-based chemical drawing engine called Marvin Sketch, and basically it's software for solving organic chemistry problems. We've built hundreds of problems into Ace, and hundreds more came built in, and allows you to get instant feedback and grade tracking along with answering problems. Ace possesses a variety of keyboard shortcuts and other tricks that you can use to very quickly generate molecular structures, mechanisms, and the like, and we've put together a repository of Ace tutorials at the URL you see here. You'll want to become proficient at Ace, especially for the exams. A second tool we'll make use of is called WebMO, and this is web-based software that allows you to calculate molecular orbitals of small molecules. You can build a molecule and then optimize its geometry and then run a variety of calculations on that optimized geometry to gain more information about the reactivity or behavior of the molecule. For instance, you can calculate MOs, you can calculate the dependence of conformation on energy, you can calculate spectroscopic properties, and others. We'll also use JMOL, which is a Java-based molecular viewer that you can use to both view and now build molecules in three dimensions. This is very useful for studies of stereochemistry, for instance, where the shape of molecules is absolutely critical. We'll also use it to look in detail at the active sites of enzymes and learning about how they catalyze chemical reactions. We've developed our own interface to JMOL, which you can also find on the Momadac wiki space. The URL for it is given here, and if you'd like to use it to build your own molecules as you move forward in the course, you're absolutely more than welcome to. A few tips to get you started on your way with technology in 332. The first is that you should be wary of using technology too much. It should enhance, not supplant, your learning. If you feel like you're going through the motions of using a technological tool, take a step back and think about why you're doing what you're doing. And if you don't understand why, that's the time to go to either the wiki or to one of the instructors or TAs with a question about the purpose of the technology. If you're having any trouble at all with technology associated with a lesson or quiz, there's a very good chance that another student has had similar trouble. Consult the associated lesson or quiz page for the comments on the course wiki. If you don't see a solution there, you can email me or Dr. Moore and we'll work on getting a solution for you. A great resource for tech tips for the Momadac project is the URL given here, the Frequently Asked Questions page. It's particularly geared towards building JMOLs and Marvin sketches to use on your page, which is something we'll learn about in a future lesson.